Hey, what's your good? So aside from the fact that you do know the S21 series are expensive, what else do you know about them? Uh, no problem. I will take you through that in about seven minutes. This time around, I'll try to stick to the time. So, uh, I'm going to be talking based on the wars announced at their packed event last week since we've not gotten to use the phones yet, as the phones aren't even available yet. So, you going to be talking based off of that. So, start the timer right there and let's begin. First of all, they're cheap compared to the last year's S20 series. Samsung slashed about $200 off the prices this year. And uh, yeah, it was really good. So, we'll start with that, but let's start with the small boys first. Three versions were announced, the S21, S21 Plus and the S21 Ultra. We start with the S21 and the S21 Plus. They are more similar than they are different. The major differences lie in the display and the battery. The differences are the S21 has a 6.2 inch display with a 4000 mAh battery, whilst the S21 Plus comes with a 6.7 inch display with a 4800 million power battery. They're similar in the remaining aspects like they both have an Infinity O, the small hole punch you see at the top, Infinity uh, Infinity. They're similar in the remaining aspects like they both have an Infinity O dynamic AMOLED display with an adaptive refresh rate of 48 hertz to 120 hertz. We'll talk about the adaptive refresh rate in a moment. They both come with 8 gigs of RAM with 128 or 256 gigs of internal storage. They also both have the Exynos 2100 5 nanometer chipset or the Snapdragon 888 5 nanometer chipset as well. Uh, the Snapdragon goes to US and China and the rest of the world gets the Exynos 2100. They both have a triple rear camera setup, which we'll talk about the cameras in a moment. And they're both IP68 dust and water resistant rated. Plus, there's no space for expandable storage. This thing's one's bag design is a matte finish over plastic, which is going to cost you about 5,200 CDs here in Ghana. And the S21 Plus has a matte finish over glass, which is going to cost you 6,400 CDs here in Ghana. Now to the big boy, the S21 Ultra. The S21 Ultra is kind of like the S20 Ultra on steroids. The S21 Ultra has a slightly smaller display compared to last year's S20 Ultra with a 6.8 inch Infinity O Dynamic AMOLED Edge display. That's a lot. That's a lot for the display. It comes with an adaptive refresh rate of 10 hertz to 120 hertz, which I'd uh, still talk about in a moment. You have a lot of versions to choose from here. You have the 12 gig RAM with the 128 gigs of storage, or 12 gig RAM with the 256 gig of storage, or the 16 gig of RAM with 512 gigabytes of storage. That's that's more than enough. This is just a lot. It uses the 5000 milliamp hour battery. That's a lot of milliampers, similar to last year's S20 Ultra, and uh, it's the only version compatible with the S Pen, which we'll also talk about in a moment. So before I come to the uh, cameras, about the adaptive refresh rate, it adjusts the frame rate based on what you're doing. Like I said, the S21 and S21 Plus have an adaptive refresh rate of 48 to 120Hz, and the S21 Ultra has an adaptive refresh rate of 10Hz to 120Hz. That It adjusts the frame rate based on what you're viewing. So say you're trying to make a call, you're sending a message, you're sending a text to somebody, it drops the frame rate down or very low and then it bumps it up when you're playing a game watching a movie you know doing stuff like that and that uh, was the benefit or advantage of that i mean uh it's kind of preserves more power instead of it being stuck at 60 or 90 or 120 hertz you get what i mean also like i said the s21 ultra is going to be the only one only version to use the s pen you could use s pens from all the tablets uh, or you know galaxy notes that you have or you could go for a new one look at this one thing samsung excels in it's their displays a lot of smartphone manufacturers are using samsung displays apple we're also learning is going to use their samsung's ltpo displays in their upcoming smartphone so wow Finally, let's talk camera, which is one of the most interesting aspects of the phone. The S21 and S21 Plus have the same camera setup, a triple rear camera setup, a 12 megapixel main wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 64 megapixel telephoto with three times optical zoom, plus a 10 megapixel selfie camera. And to the big boy, which has better. The S21 Ultra has a 108 megapixel main wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and two 10 megapixel telephoto lenses. Yes, two. Just like the P40, the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. One shoots to 3 times optical zoom, the other shoots to 10 times optical zoom, up to 100 times space zoom. 
hundred times. Yeah, similar to last year's S20 Ultra, but with improvements. The cameras on the S21 Ultra have been greatly improved compared to last year's S20 Ultra with a lot more features added, like a greatly improved portrait mode with good bokeh that separates the subject from the background. The night mode is also really good now compared to last year's with much brighter images and more detail. There is single take mode that allows you to take a 10 to 15 second video and AI translates it to a couple of photos and videos and I mean that's really good for uh, situations where you don't really know if you should take a photo or a video. I mean that's really impressive. And then there's director's view which is like the cinematographer's favorite which allows you to record from multiple lenses at the same time including the selfie camera. So you could record with the selfie cam, ultra wide, wide and telephoto lenses at the same time switching through each of these as you Record. So just like last year's S20 Ultra, there's still 100 times space zoom, but this time around it's much better. So there's a zoom lock feature that allows you to lock on the zoom when you're zooming in that far, so you can get a very stable shot. And with the new bulb spray, which I'll talk about in a different video, like right after this one. So subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you stay notified about that. Yeah. So with the new Buds Pro, you can shoot a video and record audio from both the phone and the mic of the earbuds at the same time. That's really cool, right? A lot of features in the camera department, a lot of features in the phone itself, like the wireless power share or reverse wireless charging, however it is you want to call it, which is the ability to charge other devices on the back of the phone. So say you're charging your earbuds Pro at the back of the S21 Ultra. I mean, you have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so why not? There's also compatibility with Android Auto through the SmartThings app, which allows you to control compatible cars from your phone, like turning on and off the engine, turning on the AC, unlocking your car, finding where your car is located at the mall, stuff like that. All these are covered in the next video, so subscribe to stay tuned to that. And look, Apple has their own thing going on, but when it comes to having a lot of features or loading a lot of features on a smart device, Samsung leads the way with compatibilities and integrations with a lot of other devices. And that is where we begin the next video. So this and more is why Samsung is leading, although they do have their cons. I'm Waz and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Stay safe.